Oh, no. I'd made it without getting shot, but I sure didn't feel lucky. Somehow, I had to distract the shooter again, and this time, I was on my own. With a ghost from the past giving me an evil stare. I was having a powerful sense of deja vu. I'd never got on with goats. Ripe apples hung from the tree. Hmm. The tree was way too sturdy for me to shake any apples down. Uh-oh! Oh, heck. <laughs> the old... The apples were bruised. It was an old piece of paper with a slightly torn edge. Look what I got for you, little fella! Look what I got for you, little fella! Hey, Mr. Goat. Uh, look what I got for you. I was hoping the goat would be more friendly now. Look what I got for you, little fella. <laughs> Look what I got for you, little fella. Thanks. Huh? <laughs> the crumbling fountain wouldn't provide me with any cover. Luckily, the goat was tied to an old tire. Unluckily, it was blocking my way. A pile of old brandy bottles had been discarded behind the car. The old car had been abandoned long ago. The side view mirror glinted in the sun. Oh boy, you're gonna love this. I distracted the goat, but it wouldn't take him long to eat that apple. The goat now had a whole pile of apples to tuck into. I tossed him my last apple. The goat was eating, but he still kept an eye on me. The sun was blinding.
I blinded the shooter. Time to make a dash for it. Don't think I can't see you, senor. If you so much as move an inch, I shall shoot you. Senor, please! Whoever you are, hold your fire! I'm not armed! Good. That makes it easier for me to shoot you. My name is George Stobart. I'm a friend! I have no friends. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Please, put the gun down. No. Leave now, or I shoot. All we want is a quick look inside the castell. I don't believe you. You are here to kill Senor Marquez. Senor Marquez? He's alive? What? Well, he'll vouch for us. You don't fool me like that. Get out of here before I kill you. Senor Marquez knows me, I swear. And I know a lie when I hear one. Go now, or I shoot. Wait! I have important information. Buste, vingue a me. Do you understand what I am saying? Try saying it and let's see. Ah, well, uh, I'm George Stobart, and I come in peace. Don't move your hands. Please, put the gun down. I'm not armed. And I'm still not hearing an explanation. I can understand the old man being edgy, but you look like a woman who's seen the world. Nice work. You managed to insult Ramon and me in one sentence. Do you mind putting that down? I've had a really bad day. Guns don't agree with you? No, and neither do goats. I've got bruises in places that, well, you know, places. So leave. We're here looking for something. Well, go look for it somewhere else. Hold it. Don't move your hands. We were helping a man called Marquez in Paris. He is my father. I could see where she inherited her temperament. Your father? Well, he's our friend. Why should I believe you? Show me proof. We tracked down his painting. La Maledicio. Look. Where did you get this? In London. Hmm. All right. You better come with me, but no funny business, okay? You know, you sound just like my friend Nico. Nico!